Good day, good day. Spark Millie here, and welcome back to our Aston Martin Motorsport Manager F1 2021 Manager Mod Save. So today we can wrap up the Constructors Championship with a good result, but you may have already noticed if you have an eagle eye, look at our top speed. Now, Red Bull have actually overtaken us, and it looks like it's been quite a decent mar uh, margin there because the column's down significantly. So we could see a bit of resurgence from Red Bull. A very rainy Suzuka is predicted, and look at the top speed, it's useful. So we could get absolutely dominated by Red Bull. I don't really know what to expect. Um, I wasn't expecting that at all, but... Yeah, we've got 10 days to Suzuka. First of all, though, please leave a like on the video if you still enjoy the series. Subscribe if you're not already. I'm going to go ahead and do these 10 days, and then I'll see you for Suzuka prep. I'll let you know what happens. All right, on to Suzuka today. I'll make sure to get the spelling right. If you watch season one, you'll know that I spelled it wrong in the title. Um, every time I, go, I come to this track in the game now, it's all I can think about. But, um, yeah, look, I don't know what happened with our engine build, but it's come out pretty bad. Obviously, we've got a risk level on it because it's for next year. But look at that. It's not even better than the current engine. So, I don't know if that's a bug in the game or it's an oversight by me. But, yeah, look. That engine, I'm not even going to bother improving. We've improved, I believe, the, both the rear wings. So, you know, not too bad. We're also building a new suspension. And I haven't been improving anything, actually. That's a bit of annoying. But is anything really worth improving? Yeah, the front wings. Okay, I missed that criminally. My bad. But... Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see where Red Bull are this weekend with their random boost in top speed. So, I'm going to go ahead to practice qualifying Q1, Q2. It's going to be very interesting with the heavy rain. And, um, yeah, I'll see you for the race. All right, welcome to Q3 here at Suzuka, where it's been quite a wet weekend, which happens quite a bit in Jap Japan with the monsoon conditions around here. A bit of rain is expected, but we are two seconds off the pace. So, of course, the Red Bulls have automatically just found this amazing pace out of their engines which i'm a little bit suspect of but i mean red bull have been caught multiple times this year cheating especially that daniel ricardo car so you know we'll we'll um see what happens when they get scrutinied at the end of the race but if they both got good engines will they both get caught or can only one job get caught i guess we'll find out but um we've sort of gone outside our laps there's not really much more we can do because the rain's about to kick in so that's it, I sort of talked over it, but that's our run there. Norris in th third, Russell in fourth. Norris has uh, qualified Russell a couple of times now in Q3, but just cannot get the good start on him. So we're going to have to rely on strategy. But I think it's going to be a clear race, the predicted forecast said. So maybe we can't really rely on strategy to get past the two Rebels, but we we'll, may as well give it our best shot. Hopefully, it will provide some entertainment and entertaining wheel-to-wheel -wheel races. Gasly gets Paul Ricardo seven tenths off Gasly. So the other parts, or maybe he's got an even better engine than Ricardo. But yeah, uh, I think the only way they could build two engines at once is if they did the build. You can get a component which builds an identical engine for no additional cost or time. But onto the race here. So race day here at Suzuka. I thought I'd just skip through. Usually I do a bit of a, a cut there, but... um. We'll just go straight through there, may as well. Soft size, very stream. Um, yeah, leave it at that. I just can't get Russell set up right, and there's no point tweaking it in the race. Look at our weight stripping. We've really gutted the car to try and get as much performance, especially the engine. Um, but look, we don't want to go too much, or else we won't make it to the end of this race, quite frankly. We'll go into the red zone and blow up the car, but we're going to ride aboard Norris because he's in front. Hopefully, got a good start compared to the Red Bulls. Is only rain today? No, no rain, so... Russell drops back. Surpri surprisingly, Norris gets the better start this time out, unlike last weekend in um, Singapore. But we'll jump past Ricardo, who's dropped past behind the two Ferraris. All over the back of Gasly here. Hope we can look to make a move. Norris seems to have the brakes really helping him out here, which is good to see. Um, I love this track as well. We go on a sort of like a unique track um, visit towards the end of the season, which is just amazing. At Singapore is probably still my favourite. Um, but Australia and Japan, I come close. I mean, look at that. That looks amazing. So yeah, Japan probably takes it, to be honest. Um, we'll see Australia in a couple races as well. Wow, look at that. Beautiful looking game. Please make another one, but they won't. They literally won't make another one. Uh, tires aren't overheating now. Let's focus on the race, eh? we got a race to try and win here. Shame that there's no rain today. Shame that Russell had such a bad start. But uh, still plenty of time to get it back, but we are falling quickly behind Gasly. But if we can... Stay within these rebels. Uh, a couple of places would. Hang on, is Ricardo about to take a move? Yeah. 
on Norris. So we could have a look at the gap already. Bloody hell, Russell. you got to start making moves into Ferraris. Let's be real. But we are on the better strategy, of course. We're on the soft tyres. So hopefully we see the Super Soft go off a cliff soon. And we are, George Russell's in sixth still. I saw he overtook someone. But now he's defending from Hamilton. While we're defending from Riccardi on board here with Norris. Um, not great. But we'll see what happens here. Keeping him in third. His tyres hopefully are graining. Trying to stay behind us. We're going to get these tyres back in the optimal range here. We're actually going to try and manage them there. Not let them underheat. And it's weird, because I don't think the Ferrari had that big of a performance boost, so it seems like Russell's just sort of struggling for the sake of struggling. And there it is, um, Ricardo gets past quite easily there, but he's going to have to jump into the pits pretty soon after. And um, how long are these tyres meant to last? 33 laps. So yeah, we should be able to get by quite simply. I thought I pitted him then, I um, almost had a heart attack, but the one stop should be pretty simple here, as we will actually overtake Gasly in the pit, uh, as he pits, but... We're in completely different strategies. There's no point slowing him down to slow down our race. Uh, we may as well just let him by because, yeah, like I said, he'll just get us in the pits later anyway. We don't want to compromise our time. But, yeah, look, second and third, we've both drives have jumped Ricardo, which is great to see. Um, hopefully, we can look to leave him in the rearview mirror, sort of, kind of, because we still got a pit with both our boys. Norris has a chance of getting out in front of him, but um, I don't really rate Russell's chances. Actually, I don't think they're going to make it to the end. No, they might. They might, but they'll be on much more worn tyres than our boys, so we can rely on that to help us get over the line in front of them, but it's going to be quite close. Closer, maybe not with Gasly, but we'll be with Ricardo. Look, if we can stay second and third and Gasly gets disqualified, because I uh, I say that as Ricardo gets past, then Norris gets a race win and we continue our streak. Of course, Ross has won five in a row, but he's not looking great down in P4. Anything can happen. They might, they might not even be cheating. This is a big assumption I'm going off here. I should really um, sort of adjust my attitude, but what does this mean for the title, I guess? Let's have a look. Um, look, I can quickly chuck it in a calculator, but right now we've got to focus on the pit stops. We'll have a look after the pit stops. So this means Rebel would take second place, the um, leading chasers, so to speak. Um, let's use all the ERS and look to bring our boys in. Norris, how far away is he from the pits? Uh, far enough, he can come into the pits to slap. So chuck him on sauce, make sure there's no rain. There is no rain reported. Chuck him on 75% safe. And then Russell, new set of softs, recharge battery, safe. Did it make sure I changed the, yep, tie chairs. Yep, there we go. All right, so imagine if I didn't change the tires this weekend round, that would be catastrophic. Auto on, we don't want to forget that, auto on. All right, come on, boys. Let's get a good bit of running. We're a minute behind Gasly now. We're well in front of Leclerc, however, so that's good to see. Gasly might have to pit again, but we're 19 left to go. I doubt it. Um, let's have a quick calculation here. So, as things stand, there is 639, take away 35... Oh, I did the math wrong. I typed in wrong in the calculator. Give me a minute. Uh... 358, which would be a 281 gap, which divided by 44, which is the massive amount of points I believe in getting a race. You're in 6.3 races. So right now we are winning the Constructors' Championship as things stand, which is fantastic because, you know, there's only six races to go and you need 6.3 races, which isn't mathematically line up, but you basically need to have seven races to do it. But there's no seven races left. So with Russell and Norris, I wonder what, what's there. Should we calculate that now? Let's just focus on the rest of this race. We can look at the drivers, but the constructors is in our hands as things stand. Gasly's pitted and come out well in front of Ricardo. Ricardo must have some... His engine must not be as good or something. Uh, I don't know. But he seems to be well off the pace of Gasly. And I really want to know where Red Bull got this pace from all of a sudden, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe. Um, keep pushing there. Norris is actually using quite a bit of fuel, so we're going to tell him to call it. He's got such a gap to Russell in here. We'll tell Russell to call it as well. There's no point burning the engine alive um, if you don't have to but four laps to go here I've kept you in the entire race it's been quite a quick race though but a bit more action packed than usual especially compared to Singapore last time out so yeah the constructors titles all wrapped up here with two laps to go unless the last minute crash but even then we'll just wrap it up next time out so no anthem playing at the moment we'll see what happens with scrutineering but that's a big assumption that they're cheating Gasly wins the race on track my park firm, I might have something to say about that. We're relying on it. 
Um, but I mean, it, it makes sense. How do, you, how do you go from being so far behind us to being a minute in front of us? I don't know. We'll have a look. Continuing through here. All right, this is it. Risk, rule of risk, risk rule break for us is nil. Continue. And yes, I knew it. I knew it. Eight places. Both of them. Oh, Ricardo got 10 because he's already been in trouble. But they still give him the fastest lap. All right, you can take your fastest lap. We'll take with a 1-2. Lando breaks Russell's streak. And the Red Bulls are trying everything. I don't know, maybe in the battle for second place. But they are just taking fines left, right and center. Christian Horner's got no respect for the FAA's rules. And it was very, very strange for him to come out and just be so much quicker than us. And that is why. So back to... Normality has been restored, but a bit of a drama there with Red Bull. Mercedes would have been more furious than us, as they, of course, are fighting for second place with such a disparity in prize money. And Ferrari will have taken their spot. So, as I said, the top four teams got such a gap to the rest of the grid. Alpine and McLaren are fighting for fifth place. And then Alfa Romeo, Alfa Tari, Williams and ART are scrapping for the rest. ART might go back down F2, which could be a possible save for us in Season 4 if we continue on. But that is Ben Suzuka. All right, interview with F1 Magazine here. Well, I want to clearly perfect... Uh, we'll give the drivers credit because they did well. Russell not quite as well this time. But, um, yeah, this is quite interesting here. Uh, I think the game's got this one a bit wrong. But Pit Blunder hands Pierre Gasly's win to Norris. I mean, that's not exactly how that happened. But we'll, it was the team's fight, I suppose, putting illegal parts in the car. On to the standings there. We've officially won the Constructors' Championship, I believe, with six races to go, with 310-point difference. They need seven races now, because obviously Red Bull got disqualified. So seven races. There's only six races left. That is impossible. Let's quickly calculate the gap between our drivers. So 71 points. You get 26 points in a race weekend. That one's going to go on for quite a while, obviously, with 2.6 races. So Norris, of course, got more points than Russell. So that could still, have, if Russell DNFs and Norris, I mean, he'd have to DNF two or three times and Norris would have to win every time, but let's not put it past them. It could go on to the last couple of races. Circuit of America is up next. But that has been Suzuka this week, and I hope you enjoyed it. It's been quite a weird weekend, weekend to be honest. Uh, we continue our winning streak, but almost lost it. Look at that. Russell lost his winning streak of five, but it stays in the podium, which is good for him. And yeah, so make sure to leave a like on the video if you're still enjoying the series. Subscribe if you're not already, but I'm sure you already are. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.